Hello everybody and welcome back to Minecraft. So in the last one, we got started on making antimatter. And now I've finished off that ring and making even more antimatter. And this one I think we're going to check out killing the wither again. And again. And many more times after that. Let's get to it! Okay, so as you can see, I've set up the full, big, massive, uh, large hadron collider ring of electromagnets. I was thinking of doing this with some uh, electromagnet uh, glass instead, but eh, you can kind of see the particle going around anyway, so I thought, yeah, I'm not that bothered really. Uh, but still, it's slowly making me antimatter, and it's certainly a lot quicker than that tiny little ring that I did before. And my god, that is really loud. But you can see it's slowly getting there, and uh, it turns out this thing makes about. 5 milligrams of antimatter per go, or occasionally 6, I think. Uh, so, very, very slow. And you have to get up to 125 for it to give you an empty cell, or t turn an empty cell into an antimatter. And wow, that is really loud. Uh, so, I've just got a simple export bus at the top, putting cobblestone into it, and one on the bottom extracting the finished antimatter. Uh, I've got my dimensional transceiver there, giving it power. Like I said, I'm not entirely sure it actually takes power, but I think as long as it is receiving some power, it thinks it's getting enough, which is kind of weird, because it should be taking an obscene amount of power, but, you know, whatever. And then this thing is also slightly new. Uh, this is an insulated redstone conduit, so essentially it works just like a redstone wire, but it lets me put the, uh, the redstone signal in the same way that I'm putting the power in, otherwise I wouldn't really have enough sides. Uh, so that's just a lever hooked up to a redstone conduit, sending a redstone signal, letting that thing turn on and work. Cool. Um, and actually, see, I can also fly. Uh, that is due to some new armor that I made, which is kind of snazzy looking. It's all a bit dark and black and stuff. Uh, which is also giving me underwater breathing, fire resistance, and step assist and flight, which is kind of nice. It's not particularly speedy, but, you know, it lets me fly around and build stuff, so I'm not going to complain. Uh, so that's actually from Magical Crops. Which is pretty cool. Um, I didn't actually know that there was armor in this, but I just kind of found it and I'm like, oh, that gives me flight. And I could probably make that because I have obscene amounts of magical crop stuff. Uh, it wasn't too hard to make. You kind of just have to make these uh, infused diamonds to start off with, which are gold and obsidian essence, which I already have, and a diamond, which I also have from essences as well. Uh, so you make that into uh, regular armor, and then we upgrade it once to this one with extreme essence. And then you upgrade that again with an infused feather, which is air essence and another extreme essence and a feather. So not really that hard to make if you get into magical crops pretty much hardcore. Uh, thankfully I did, because that took a lot of essence. Someone's completely cleared me out of essence, but still pretty good. And it will certainly do for now if I'm going to carry on doing some other stuff, because I didn't really have the patience to do uh, another set of power armor, especially since I want to work on that thorncraft armor, because I think that sounds fun. It sounds kind of cool. Uh, but in speaking of Thorncraft, uh, I've done some more work on that. Uh, so I set up the uh, the Wisp Spawner over here again, and I actually got it working properly. Uh, and I've also encased the uh, the little um, cursed earth thing I had in Obsidian, because it kept kind of blowing up. I think it was just creepers randomly exploding sometimes for some reason. So I just kind of surrounded the whole thing in Obsidian. I had to make sure to put some Obsidian in front of the grinder because it kept blowing that up as well. But it doesn't seem to actually blow up the cursed earth, so... Uh, that seems to work. Um, but, yep, yeah, I've got the uh, Wisp Spawner working. So I'm just sort of slightly cheesing this a little bit. Uh, so I filled out um, to the max range of the Spawner, which, again, I believe is 9x9. Nine nine. Um, then I basically just filled the entire thing with dark glass, apart from that sort of 3x4 space you can see in the middle with the Spawner and the uh, grinder over there, just so the grinder will be able to hit everything, because they kept spawning like, all the way out to nearly the edge of this dark glass, and the grinder couldn't hit them, and it kept filling up, especially when I time-torched it, but uh, it's just about got there for now. So that's all getting sent into the ME system when I put the, uh, the um, Safari Net in there. I haven't got it in there at the moment, because I've got way too much essence. Like, way, way too much essence. Uh, so once the essence came in, I set it uh, up to send off to the Thorncraft room via this uh, red ender chest, and I'm doing that with a fuzzy export bus. Uh, so something that's quite nice about this Ethereal Essence is that it's all the same um, ID for everything, and the only difference in them, uh, the difference between the types of essence is just metadata, which is sort of the number after the ID. You can see there, Ethereal Essence 18365, and there's another number after that, which I've currently got hidden, which determines the type of it. Uh, so a fuzzy export bus will match basically anything um, of that type, irregardless of the metadata. So you usually sort of see metadata of things like damage on tools and that kind of thing. Like there, 16359-233. Uh, 
that's just a damage value after it, that's the metadata. But it's used for all sort of things, so it's quite nice that I'm able to do that and send it straight off to the Thorncraft room. And over in the Thorncraft room, I've got that piping out into uh, the... What's it called? The thing you would doodle that smelts the things into the Essentia. That thing. I've forgotten what it's called. The alchemical stuff. Alchemical furnace. Uh, so I've sort of got... That's the other red end chest, which is full of essence. I've got so much in there. I've got a ton. And I've got a transfer node here. Uh, sorting it all down into this filter pipe. And I've got the aura essence on the red uh, side, which is coming out this way. Which is basically just sending all the ore I'm here, because I still want to upgrade my node a little bit more. Um, so I've just got ore essence coming into here. I'll chuck a couple extra in just for crafting and stuff. Uh, just so I'll keep all that ore on, because that's the only one that I really need. And then everything else that isn't ore essence is going down this blue pipe into this diamond chest. Like I said, I've got a lot of essence. I sort of time torched it for a while and just left it be and uh, came back and this is how it looked. So yeah. That's all getting hoppered down into the alchemical furnace, which I... Which is not burning. Why you no burn? Oh, that's probably because all these are full, aren't they? Yep. Oh, is it because my golem's being derpy? Yeah, I think so. Come on, guys. Sort, sort it out. This, this uh, new setup seems to sort of work, but they still kind of derp out occasionally. They just kind of stop and stand somewhere. They're just like, guys, could you, could you work? Come on, get it. Go. Work. Do your job, golem. You... Oh, I think it's kind of on it. Yeah, they're, they're pretty derpy. Wait, what's this? Sorry about that. The guy delivering parcels, and I think I slightly scared him when I went down and landed the door in my dressing gown. I think he looked kind of terrified. But anyway, yeah, that's kind of the uh, the new Thorncraft setup kind of thing. Got all the uh, ethereal essence coming in and getting smelted up into Essentia. Golems are transferring it everywhere. And all my jars are now uh, void jars, so I don't really have to worry about any overflow or anything like that. Uh, well, void jars and these uh, big ethereal jars, uh, just for some of the things that you sometimes need more than 64 for um, a recipe for the arcane infuser and there is a lot of these things I don't realize quite how many different aspects there were there's a hell of a lot I think I've got jars for just about all of them so that's pretty cool uh, other stuff that I've been doing around here uh, I've got a new node because <laughs> my old one kind of just disappeared uh, I'm guessing that because I joined from the aspect of zero I I'm guessing maybe I um, drained all the primary aspects to zero so it just disappeared which is pretty annoying, but I ended up having to make another one. Uh, I had another one that was already jarred up, which was, uh, I think it was Pedito and Terror or something. Uh, so I spent a while um, adding all in the different uh, aspects. Because thankfully this thing lets you uh, add in aspects, which is pretty nice. Uh, so I could basically just, you know, uh, add in by using some of the uh, ethereal essences. I think it was four of each, maybe? It was less than that. And uh, some Oran Essentia. You can basically add in any aspects that you want. Uh, so I'm slowly sort of increasing the amounts of aspects this thing can hold, uh, but for that you need 64 Oram Essentia, which I've got millions of because each one of these uh, Ethereal Essences gives you Oram Essentia, which is pretty useful, uh, as well as the standard one. And also uh, you need 4 Oram Essence per time you increase uh, the amount of aspects this can hold, and I believe it only adds 1 each time, I think. I did test that, but I think it added 2 the last time, I don't know. Uh, I don't know, we'll, we'll find out I suppose. But it's going to take a while. I want to get these things completely maxed out and make a big, huge node. Um, and I might, just for the hell of it, turn it into a hungry node. And then I can sort of uh, get some files of this stuff and chuck that into the hungry node. And basically add like every aspect in the game into this one node. Which would be kind of crazy, but kind of fun. I think that would be cool. Just make one ridiculous, bigger, big overpowered node. That's all I really want. Just for the hell of it. Make it angry. Make it pissed off. Uh, but anyway, uh, I want to get on to making some new Thorncraft stuff. Uh, oh, and actually, I uh, kind of was messing around the mod pack a bit, um, trying to sort some things out because something crashed and it all went a bit wrong, and I had to sort of mildly reinstall the mod pack. Uh, but for some reason, I lost all my uh, Thorncraft research, so I kind of just said, fuck it. I do not have the patience all the time to re research everything, so I just kind of got myself the cheat sheet and got everything. Uh, just because I really do not have the patience to re-research everything. And the research is kind of boring anyway, and I've done it a few times already, so I was just like, you know what, screw it. I'll just have everything unlocked. So I can make pretty much everything, you know, obviously. As long as I've got the prerequisite things that I'll need, like a, a good enough wand and a good enough arcane infuser set up and that kind of thing. I would have got there eventually, but I was just like, you know, screw it. I do not have the time, unfortunately. Uh, so what I want to make is this stuff. Uh, yeah, so there's the uh, Ica cloth robes which are the base ones, which are pretty good Thorncraft stuff. They give you the uh, the Viz discounts, and they're pretty good as armor goes. 
But then there's uh, upgrades for all of them. Uh, so, uh, Cowley Bissell Depths, for example, but look at this thing. This thing is crazy to make. It requires a lot of stuff. It's not too hard in general. A lot of this stuff's fairly easy to make. Oh, God, I'm going to have to do more potion making. Um, and look, wow, that requires a lot of essential from some different things, but uh, I guess it'll work fine. Uh, but all these require Ica Cloth, which you have to make Ica for, um, which requires Nether Stars per 8. So I need to get a lot more Nether Stars. And I'll probably want to make another wand as well, uh, because that's... Uh, when you make the Ica Cloth, that requires 125 of each Essentia, which I can do with uh, my newer one that I made, which is a, uh, like the old one I had, Thormium Boss Silverwood Wand. If I have my full set of uh, robes on and that, that is just enough. But there's uh, another one that you can make with Ica Cloth, which sounds like a much better idea. This one here, which stores a thousand of each Essentia. So that'll probably take a while to charge in this uh, one recharge pedestal, but hey ho, what can you do? The nice thing is, though, uh, that actually works with Time Torches. Because, you know, it's me, I'm, I get lazy and get bored very quickly. So I was like, I wonder if I just put a wand in and put um, time torches on it, if it will recharge faster. And it does, like quite a lot faster. Just kind of left it there with time torches and it recharges pretty quickly. So I want to go into that. So I'm going to need some more nether stars. So I've got myself some soul sand and wither skeleton schools. Thankfully, I've still got the uh, magical st uh, crop stuff for that. I've got the essence for it, so I can make that pretty much ad infinitum. Um... So I think the easiest way to kill some nethers would be to sort of set up myself an arena to do it. Uh, but a lot of stuff won't hold the wither. Like, obsidian won't do it, no chance. Uh, four seals might, but I actually tried that with the ender dragon once, and that did not work. It just kind of phased straight through him, so I might skip that. And um, what I'm going to try making is this thing. Uh, the one focus of warding, which again requires the nether star, so I'm going to have to kill another one anyway. But essentially that will make me, let me uh, sort of ward blocks uh, and make them completely indestructible. And I believe that should hold the wither, I think. So I'm going to head over to the overworld and see if I can kill myself another wither. I think this armor should be pretty good against it. it should, I shouldn't take much damage and being able to fly should be good. So yeah, pretty much just wing it. I might need to make myself a better weapon though. Hmm, I'll have a quick look at that. Ooh, actually, it looks like I've got pretty much all the stuff to make an atomic disassembler, so that works for me. That'll do fine. That'll certainly do a decent amount more damage than this uh, Solar Zephyr. The Solar Zephyr's still pretty cool. It kind of lets you uh, attack quite... If there's like a crowd of zombies, you can kind of hit all of them if you, as long as you hit one, and they're all sort of close by. But uh, not quite as good as the atomic disassembler in terms of just flat-out murdering them. Just for sheer damage on one single target. So let's charge that up. Boom. Done. Nice. And that should be pretty good. All right. I say I do quite like having this um, random armor that just lets me fly for not having to keep it charged and not worry about that. That's really quite nice. That's the other reason I kind of want the Thorncraft one, because it just works. You don't have to charge it, and I don't have to forget about charging it and fall into the void. Anyway, let's go make a wither. And what better testing ground than our old nuclear fallout shelter? Or whatever you want to call it. Nuclear testing ground, I guess. Uh, so anyway, let's grab... Oh, well, let's go to school. And soul sand. Awesome. And hopefully this should go fine. It should be right. Uh, I just realized I need some more food. I should get on that. That would be a good plan. Don't really want to die. Not quite used to having to eat again. That's a little bit annoying. But hey-ho, let's do this thing. Bring it on with her. I will end you. Come on, regenerate. Do your stuff. And blow up and all that. When you're ready. Come on. Boom, there we go. All right, bring it on, you bastard. Why is it going down? That's different. Okay, it goes up when you hit it. Oh, that's good to know. Come on, come here, die. I will murder your face. I will murder your face. Get over here. Well, this is pathetically easy. I forgot how easy it was with the Atomic Disassembler. Just do so much damage to him. And you should be dead. There we go. Job done. Nelson. And um, where did you drop your stuff? Uh, did I get everything, maybe? Did I get everything? Well, I got the, uh, the Nether Star, so that counts. Also, in case... Oh, that actually calls Nether Star now. That was weird. Uh, before it was called Nether Cube, uh, which it turns out was just like a thing with the texture pack. It is still like a Nether Star. It's the exact same thing. It's just kind of weird. I don't know. It's just a thing with Sfax. They call it Nether Cube for some reason sometimes. Uh, I think I got everything. I think I'm all good. Yeah, I don't think I missed anything. All right, cool. And also that uh, yellow heart won't be bad to have either because that'll let me get a little bit more health, which apparently doesn't seem to be working at the moment with this armor or something. Actually, let's just try... I have heard that sometimes this works. If you just sort of like use one off the heart bar again, then it all. Oh, yeah, there we go. Now it's starting to regenerate again. Having my health back. 
not that it seems to matter with this armor, it's incredibly good, but cool. Uh, awesome, so that's one other star, so I can make that um, one focus of warding and make myself a little arena, which should make it a lot easier to kill him, because then he won't be able to rise up and I won't have to chase him. So I'll just sort of make a room and have at him. Anyway, let's get back home. All right, I think I've got everything for it, so hopefully this will go well. Another star in the middle, boom. Thank God it is in the middle, so it couldn't possibly get destroyed. Well, actually, I just remembered I didn't actually mention this at any point. Uh, you might remember seeing under there, um, I've got like a ton of candles and stuff, which just breaks through the uh, the bottom to show you. Should break through here. Uh, yeah, under here I've got like 8 million candles and a ton of creeper heads, which is really freaking creepy, but... This is actually practical. Uh, so remember, like I had all the uh, the stuff around the infusion altar before, just sort of in between it. Well, I decided I didn't really want to do that because it looked really cluttered. So I thought apparently it does work fine if you put it underneath here, and with this crazy amount of stuff and keep it all nice and symmetrical, it should um, be incredibly stable. I don't really had any bad effects from it yet. Um, at least you know, except when I forgot that um, I needed some essential or something, like ran out of some essential. Uh, but apart from that, it seems to work pretty damn well, so yeah, it seems to be really quite stable, which is nice. Anyway, I need to look at my Thermonomicon and see where all this stuff goes. So, six six slots? No, uh, eight slots. Uh, so, Quicksilver, Quicksilver, Order, order Earth, Earth, Nether Quartz, Nether Quartz. Okay, cool. Uh, so, how was that? Eight, so where do I need to put these things? I don't entirely know. Uh, so, let's go Nether Quartz. And, oops, another quartz. Uh, and quicksilver, quicksilver, I guess. I'm just kind of winging this symmetry thing. <laughs> Ish, it'll work probably. Uh, then, what is that? Not entirely sure how this is going to work, but, hmm. Uh, which side do these things need to be on? So, auto shard, auto shard, so in other words it shouldn't matter, right? Yeah, I guess so. It'll be fine probably, so auto shard, uh, earth shard, uh, and earth shard on that side, auto shard on that side, will that work? Will that maybe, yeah, that seems to be about right, I think. Yeah, is that right? It'll probably be fine. <laughs> if not, I guess we'll soon find out. And when I get hit by horrific flux things, go! I did not even check that I had all the essential. I should do. I hope. I don't know if I've got any of that armor one actually. I really hope I do. Oh yeah, I've got like a full jar of it over there. Cool. Uh, what else for auto? I've got plenty. Cognito, I should have loads, I hope. Cognito, Cognito, I can't see it, but it should be fine. I'm sure I remember cooking it. Oh, yeah, there it is. Cool, yeah, we've got everything. <laughs> Always a good idea to check that you've got that first, really, before just starting off, otherwise you get some bad things. I did, yeah, like I said, I did start one off where I didn't have all the essential I needed. It started, like, zapping me and all the golems and everything, doing quite a decent bit of damage, too. It's a bit annoying. But, see what I mean? I'm really not getting much instability at all, and this is... I think this is a light instability one. Let's have a look. This is moderate instability, but I'm getting nothing with that many candles underneath it. Pretty cool. I like it. Sucking things in. All seems good. Cool. I'm really liking how stable this is. It means I don't have to worry so much. I don't have to always keep replacing items, which are sometimes really hard to make. So, so I'm not going to complain about that. And are we done? We're done. Cool. Alright, one focus of warding. Done. Gimme. Thank you. Uh, let's whack that on the wand. Uh, bing. Cool. Alright, so I believe we just sort of right click it and it's warded. And then we shouldn't be able to break it. Uh, yep. Oh, that cool. that's a really cool particle effect as well. That's cool, I like it. And yeah, it just kind of doesn't show up anything at all until you, unless you have the wand out again. Or it might even just be um, unless you... Oh yeah, it's only if you've got the uh, the wand of... The wand focus of warding on that it shows up. That's pretty cool, I like that. Alright, cool. Uh, so I think I'm going to set up a little mini... Uh, room for now that I can fight withers in. Alright, we have a tiny little enclosure made of glass. Uh, yeah, probably not going to keep it this way. kind of want to build like a big coliseum type thing. I think that would be cool. That would take quite a while to ward all of it, but yeah, it would be pretty sweet. Anyway, this is uh, all warded up. Looks pretty trippy while you're holding the wand. Kind of cool though. But uh, hopefully this should work. So, well, I really hope it works because uh, otherwise I'm going to 
could potentially lose a lot of stuff here. Well, it'll probably be fine, all right? Let's just assume it'll all be fine and it won't be able to blow everything up. Please don't blow everything up with her. I mean, I can't hit anything, so we should be right. I'm like completely trapped in here right now. I can get out even if I wanted to with that wand. Oh, bollocks. Not good. Not good at all. Fuck. 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 Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Wither, Wither, come over here, please. Wither, come over to me. Come here. Come here. There we go. Yeah, come over to me. Come, come to me. Don't blow up all my stuff, you bastard. Okay, I really, really expected that to work. That's kind of annoying. I probably should have tested that in the overworld first, eh? God damn it. Oh, falling. Don't double tap space. That's how I fall to death. Yeah, Jesus. Well, that's disappointing. I really expected that to work. Further testing may be required. Go on, die please. Die please. Please, please die. There we go. Did I get everything? No, I'm about to lose all that, aren't I? Can I fall fast in the items? Oh, I'm not sure I got anything. Don't want to go much lower than that, otherwise I'll fall into the void. Uh, no, I don't really get anything. God damn it. Well, that's disappointing. Hmm. I'm wondering if maybe it's because I made it too... Uh, the ceiling too low? I don't know. Hmm. I might go and test this out in the overworld, though, because that seems like a much safer idea. Alright, attempt two. I've made it a bit of a higher building out in the overworld this time, so I don't actually accidentally destroy everything. Because that would probably be a good plan. And uh, no, let's just stick it right there. Probably should have made this a bit more even, actually. Uh, that. What's one, two, three, uh, yeah, actually, I should have made this a little bit wider, but it should be fine, hopefully. Uh, so at least we'll know for sure this time. And not that it's just like the ceiling was too low, because that is an option, I think. I'll see how it goes, I guess. It may be that these don't work at all, and I might have to look at force fields instead. Uh, fingers crossed. And he's alive! And he's knocked all the torches off the walls. Not surprised. Oh, no, it's worked. It has worked. Awesome. So I can just go to town on him now, and not have to worry about him flying off. Nice. Yeah, it's not really surprising not to torch this off, but oh well. Yeah, death to your face now, please. Death to you. Awesome. Alright, I knew that would work. At least I was really hoping it would. But cool, that seems to do the job. Awesome. I'll just uh, de ward some of this so I can actually get the F out. There we go. Cool. So that does work. I just need to build it a bit bigger next time. Alright, cool. Well, that's fine. So I was fine. I'll do a kind of a Colosseum thing anyway. Uh, so I've got one more Nether Star. Uh, but I'm going to be needing quite a lot more, I think. Uh, so maybe I should make a start on that Colosseum, or, or actually, then again, I could sort of look into maybe making a way to make an automated uh, Nether Star farm. That could be a plan. Hmm, I wonder how I could do that. Alright, back here again. Uh, put some skylights in, because why not? And apparently you can't ward the, uh, the lamps that I use, but oh well, whatever, you can put some glass in there and ward that instead. Uh, so I'm going to try Safari in again. Seems gonna give a shot at automation. Why not try the simplest route first? Maybe it'll work, or maybe it's a terrible idea, and I shouldn't even attempt it. But you know, it's worth a shot anyway. Can I? Can I throw it at you? Well, I'll probably have to wait till he's done charging anyway, before it'll let me. Maybe, maybe, please, pretty please. Somehow, doubt it's gonna work, but you know, capture you, capture you. This is, yeah, it's really not happening, is it? Oh well, I thought it was worth a shot, even if I didn't really expect it to work. Still, you can die again, and that's another free nether star for me, so don't mind if I do. Come on, you can die now. There we go, beautiful. Death to your face. Awesome. Thank you. Okay, attempt two on automation. I'm going to try using block placers. So I'm guessing if I kind of get these guys to put down the blocks in the right shape, then it should still make a wither, hopefully. I'll give it a go. Uh, so that just works like... Yeah, it needs energy. You put the blocks in. Yeah, you can put it in... I don't think that's a pattern, I think that's just a big inventory. Okay, so I just need to sort of lay these out in the right order. Okay, that should work. And on there. Oops, nope, stop it. Go away. And there. And there. Cool, cool. Uh, give it some power. Good old dimensional transceivers, gotta love them. Uh, power receive on power channel. Yep, cool, there we go. And give you all some power. Ding, ding, ding. Uh, do, oops, come on. There we go. Ding, ding, ding. Awesome. You're getting power right. Cool. And tell you all what items I want you to put in. So you want some soul sand. 
Um, yeah, let's just leave it at one for now, I guess. Uh, same for you. There you go. And you. There you go. And most important... Oops, that's not even the right thing. I didn't want to put you there. Take that back. Give me. Uh, you can place down heads, right? 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 You can't place down heads. Well, bugger. Hmm. Actually, also, can I ward these things? Uh, shift right click. Oh, it's like I can't, so that would probably get blown up by the wither anyway. Hmm. Okay, well, that's not going to work. Uh, I could maybe use, like, autonomous activators to put down wither schools, but all the same, they'd probably get blown up anyway, so... Yeah, it's not going to work, I don't think. That's a shame. Damn it. Uh, what else could I use? I could use the force field mod. That could work. Hmm, maybe I should give that a go. Okay, let's see if this works. Back in the overworld warded room again. Uh, I've just basically got a force field wall set up. Uh, thankfully, because there's no um, biometric identifier or anything like that on it, I can just sort of shift walk through this. But enemies won't be able to do that. And I'm hoping, because the force field is on the same place as the block place that it won't break it when it blows up. That's pretty much my only guess. I'm also hoping that if I do this soul sand last then it should work fine for automating it. No, no it doesn't. Well, bugger. Watch out. And that should work when I use the, do the deployer because it, uh, I think it just counts if maybe the, uh, the wither skull has to be placed last. I think I remember that being a thing. So let's give that a go anyway. See if this force field thing works. If it doesn't, this is pointless. I'm basically just waiting for it to blow up to see if that block place gets blown up. If it does, then this won't work. And... Come on. And it got blown up. God damn it. You bastard wither. Why do you have to be so annoying? Oh wow, well, at least that's another nose star for me. Come on, death to your face. When you're quite done. There we go, beautiful. Oh, at least that's another nether star. Hmm. Well, that isn't going to work, unfortunately. Alright, well, this has been a little bit tougher than I expected. I expected to be able to do this fairly easily, but... Uh... Apparently not the case. Uh, there is still one fairly easy way that I could do it, which would be to use uh, Computercraft Turtles. Uh, I tend to avoid using them. I've used them a lot in the past, and I have a tendency to go a bit overboard with them once I start using them, and just go a bit crazy. What the fuck? Okay, Creepers randomly blown up my path. What a dick. Uh, yeah, so I don't know. I'll, I'll probably uh, keep on messing with this and see if I can find another way to do it. If all else fails, I can probably use Turtles for it, but... I know, I tend not to like using them that much, as powerful as they are. Uh, but that's going to do it for this one, so thank you very much for watching. As always, I'm Mr. Trudel, and I'll see you in the next one. Catch you later! <laughs>